Hey, it's Monday. Hey, it's Monday. It's another week. And we're doing this another week. Well, I'm doing this another week. If you're watching this, then you're you're here too. Thanks for joining me. <sighs> rain on Saturday. In fact, it rained on Friday and Saturday. So I really should have gotten my money back on that weather forecast. So I've not mowed the lawn because it was cool and gray and threatening. Didn't rain on Sunday, but still. Principles, man. So I'm going to mow the lawn when I get home tonight. I really, really am. It's been actually sunny today and actually windy, so it may have dried up enough. But it's going to rain tomorrow, and I definitely can't let this go any longer. I'm really worried someone's going to report me or the city's going to mow the lawn and send me a bill or something like that. But good weather today, 65 degrees, and it's 539. I'm sorry, you just missed the Taco Bell bomb. I know you wanted to hear it, but it went just before I hit start. 539, 64 degrees. Now 64. It was 65 when I started. Temperature's plummeting. I got to hurry. So I got to get the lawn mode before sundown. Actually, I get get the lawn mode before raw starts, even more importantly. Because if I don't tweet at least 100 times during raw, you might forget that I exist. And you might unfollow me. Strangely, I don't worry that you'll unfollow me because I tweeted about raw a zillion times. I think those people have given up on me already. When I went into Twitter, I didn't think pro wrestling was going to be my niche. I don't know why I didn't think that. It's all I'm famous for, right? But I'm comfortable with where I am. I've settled in. I have a cloud score I can be proud of. My cloud score hit 52 last week, and I missed it. I still don't know why. It's back down to 51. If you don't know what a cloud score is, uh, count yourself lucky. But if you're on cloud and you would like uh, me to give you some plus K and something, let me know. I've said this before. 51 flat. So by tomorrow, it should be 50. Unless, of course, I say something so profound and so witty that it attracts thousands of people to me one more time. Hmm. We can only hope. I live and die by your retweets. Again, there are people going, what? What is he talking about? What? It's just part of the, you know, the experience of being me, which I share with you on a daily basis, usually five days a week, right here on YouTube. Now, did anybody say anything? Nobody said anything since Friday, really? There's no pressure to actually answer a question. This morning I left early and went to Menards to pick up some, uh, what are they called? I don't know. Leaf and yard waste bags made out of paper. And they were out. And... When I got here, I went to Menards' website. If you don't know what Menards is, you're probably in California. It's like Orchard Supply Hardware, but in the Midwest. I went to Menards' website, and I went to see where it was in stock. Because thankfully, that stuff is online. What an age we live in. Although I didn't think to look at it before I went to St. Paul to discover that they were out. Every store in the metro has millions of these things, except the one I went to this morning. So I had to actually take a lunch, make a special trip out to Fridley, friendly Fridley, and buy, I just bought a box. So I bought a box of 10 packs of five, and my cashier mocked me. Like, how much yard work do you plan on doing? I'm like, well, I just don't want to come back. She says, you don't want to come back for 10 years? I said, well, no, but my yard's a little bigger than you think it is, I hope. It turns out she is right to have mocked me. That's okay. Upside, the point of it all is I spent 1880 plus tax on 50 large-ish paper bags, which on its face seems like a real colossal waste of money, but the city of Minneapolis is going to save the planet. 
by not letting me use regular plastic garbage bags to put leaves and cut grass in. And the real thing is that cut grass is probably going to go straight into the composter and not into a paper bag to go on the street. But I have the paper bag so that I can transport it to the composter. I may have said all this on Friday, too, by the way. So if you're seeing this immediately after you saw Fridays, I apologize for me repeating myself. But that was at least 72 hours ago. Well, it wasn't. It was almost 72 hours ago, and I can't be bothered to remember past today, which is why the only story you're hearing about is the one that happened this morning. The upside is that the Menards in Fridley is really close to a White Castle, so for the first time in many months, I had White Castle. I did not use my Craver Nation coupon. I forgot. Actually, I didn't want to try to figure out how to get it on my phone so I could show it to them and see if they would take it or not. It wasn't worth it for two... Uh, sandwiches. For those of you who keep track of such things, and I know that uh, there are people besides me who do that, I had six sliders and nine chicken rings with uh, one barbecue sauce packet and one honey mustard packet. I consider that fuel for the lawnmower cardio-a-thon, which I'm going to have to engage in. And because it's the first one all year, I will probably have to take many breaks, breathe heavily, look like I have a heart attack but not really have one, and ask myself, why? Why do I weigh so much? Why do I weigh so much? It couldn't be the six sliders and the nine chicken rings. The other thing is you can't go to Menards while you're hungry because you engage in impulse purchases, such as Fisher's Party Mix. Mmm, cheese curls, pretzels, sesame sticks, rye crisps. Don't buy junk food at the hardware store. It doesn't... I mean, it's got that shelf life, right? It's not like at a grocery store where there's a constant turnover of the food items. It's like, you know... How long has this been there? I don't know. It's okay, though. It hasn't expired yet. It's best by October 15, 2012. So it's good for another five months, guys. The sad part is I'm aware of all of this, and I'm still going to ingest it someday anyway. The time will come when I will be so starved for cheese curls, pretzels, sesame sticks, and rye crisps. Two sixty nine with a bargain. Tune in later when you will see me eat and get orange finger. Are you one of those guys that likes the store brand Cheetos better than the Frito Lay Cheetos? Because they have that off taste and they're not they're not really Cheetos, they can't quite reproduce that classic taste. But yet, its offness is something that you you start to look forward to and to crave. No, that's just me, because I'm cheap. Could be. Actually, I'm not as big on the off Cheetos. I am bit, I do like the off nacho cheese Doritos. That's something I've sort of become a connoisseur of the different store brands and other brands. I really like the old Dutch version of uh, nacho cheese Doritos which is obviously not what they're called. They're nacho cheese-flavored tortilla rounds or something. But This is probably not the kind of food talk that Doug was hoping I would give him. Doug, by the way, didn't say anything about my Friday video, even though he promised to watch it today. And in fact, he's going to the Rangers game tonight, so who knows when he'll see it. Fridays and this one. Go Rangers! Why not? I've kept my beard growing. If the Rangers get knocked out, um, I will probably definitely shave for sure. But now I kind of feel back into the hockey spirit because I do have a team to root for because I have friends in New York. Kind of hoping that they stay alive long enough for my wife's New York trip, which is coming pretty soon. And maybe she and her friends can go out to a Rangers game. We shall see. Stay tuned on that. My time is up. So, actually, I have 30 seconds. I'm gonna, I know there was one comment on YouTube. We'll see if I can get to it. Or I'll go over. You know, I always go over, right? So who cares? I think I got the email and I forgot to look. So we'll see if I actually did get a comment or not. My login was incorrect. Why was my login? My login was incorrect, and yet it says I'm here.
White Bacon. White Bacon said Cream Sickle Orange. I lack context. What are we talking about? Well, thanks, White Bacon. I have no clue what that means. I'm glad we waited for that comment. Okay, thanks. I'll talk to you tomorrow. White Bacon, get on the W and tell me what the hell you meant. Thanks. Bye.